But good morning, everyone. Today is an exciting day. So today is the day that Mike goes and takes his drone piloting license. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the day we get to go buy a drone, hopefully he passes. He's been studying really hard and I've been proud of him. And if that's the case, then you will see this video here. But if not, this is just totally gonna get deleted. <laughs> so it's about an hour and a half drive to where he needs to go to take his test today. And because today is a work day for me here, I'm just sitting at the apartment waiting for him to be able to let us know. Mike just texted, I think he got his results. Hey, how'd it go? It was good, I got a three. Whoa, awesome. So does that mean we're gonna go buy a drone today? You are now looking at an official drone pilot. That's me. Yeah, it wasn't me. I was not sitting through that long course that Mike had to take to then take a test to then become a drone pilot. So that was all Mike. And I'm super proud of him because he passed his test. We have been talking about getting a drone for a while, but in order to get a drone and put videos on YouTube, you have to pass the FAA certification test in order to get your commercial drone pilot license. So I did that. And we thought we'd tell you a little bit about it and talk about the drone that we bought. As I've mentioned a couple of times, we're gearing up to take a really long trip. And in doing so, we're researching different gear that we might want to bring. We came across drones and we were going back and forth on if we'd want it or not and stumbled down the rabbit hole of different research. So because YouTube and all this camera gear is a huge learning curve, we figured we'd share the process and everything that we've learned along the way with you all, just in case you were interested in possibly buying a drone and putting some videos on YouTube as well. Even though we don't make a lot of money off of YouTube, we bring in about a hundred bucks a month off of our videos, we still fall under the classification of a commercial pilot, or we would if we were uploading videos taken from a drone onto YouTube. And so because of that, we actually are governed by the FAA Part 107 law regarding commercial pilots, which means you have to have your pilot certificate in order to use drone footage on a monetized YouTube channel. Basically, if you're wanting to fly a drone for fun, go for it, you're allowed to do that. But if you're wanting to make any type of money off of it, even if it's a, a hundred bucks a month, that's how much we make off of YouTube, you could technically get in trouble by the FAA if you're not a licensed pilot flying. We'll add the disclaimer that this is for the United States. There's actually a specific test that the FAA offers. It's the Unmanned Aircraft General Test that you have to take in order to get your pilot certificate. And that is what allows you to have the ability to fly under part 107, which are those commercial drone laws. A lot of the same things that pilots have to know in terms of reading flight charts, reading weather reports, airport operations, all of those types of things you have to know for this test. We actually came across a course that you can take to train you in the knowledge that you need in order to be a safe drone pilot and in order to pass the test. And it was fantastic. It's through the Pilot Institute. I think the cost was $175, $160. We'll, we'll link the information yeah. below. Enough about the nitty gritty of the course and studying and taking the test. Now let's talk about the drone that we purchased. So this is the DJI Air 2S. We actually didn't buy this until after I passed the pilot certification course. We were the nerds that felt that we would want to have all of that before we've ever flown. I was a certified pilot and I had never held a controller in my hands. I've never put a drone in the air. I had all the knowledge of the laws and regulations, but not actually any clue on how to fly a drone. So that was a fun experience. Since then, we have had the opportunity to play around with it a little bit, little bit. The first time we put it up in our driveway and back down real quick, because it was a lot faster than we thought it was. And today we actually got to have a little bit of fun with it. We took it out into the country and had it follow us a little bit. Overall, it's a really great camera and we're really excited and a little but intimidated to use this and really see how it works and hopefully capture some great memories along the way. And on top of that, it is a lot of fun to fly a drone. So hopefully we'll get some great footage, but at minimum, it's really cool to do. And if you're wondering what I've been up to while Mike has been hard at work studying, we've actually been doing a couple little upgrades to the van, nothing major, but one of the main things that I wanna point out to you is our mosquito netting. So the Velcro tape didn't actually stick to the ceiling very well. We came out one day and found our mosquito nets on the ground of our van. So what we did instead was screw in the top Velcro and also changed out the rope to be a little bit stronger to hold everything up. We also moved our hand broom to the other side which i'll show you in just a second here then we added a little trash can and we bolted in our fire extinguisher which was on our wall here but easy enough to grab if we need it and then on this side 
is where we hid our broom. So in addition to that, I've also been working a bunch of overtime trying to stash up as much as possible for our upcoming trip. And we've also been doing a lot of trip planning. So we do apologize for the kind of the sparse videos. We did have all these ideas of things that we could do, but honestly, we're just really excited for our upcoming travels and we're not really doing too much here at the moment besides tweaking our van to hopefully get it to be the best that it can be while we're on the road and then saving up as much money as possible. This was definitely a quick video, but we wanted to share the information that we have about the drone certification, buying a drone, which we're really excited about, and just a couple of the little tweaks that we've been doing with the car. June 1st is hopefully the date that we leave on our next big adventure. We'll have more information for you on that as we get a little bit closer. We're almost there though as it is. We are gearing up and we are so excited to get back on the road in Appa and we are definitely gonna be hitting a lot of those states that we still have left to go. We are excited to share that trip with you and we'll see you soon. Hey, hey, hey.